So let's get right to it. Um, maybe I'll start with Marty Hughes of Sidera. And Marty, you can you can begin with thoughts most top of mind to disseminate to our audience on this topic. Sure, thanks, Lewis. Um, I think one of the things that, as I looked at the topic that we're presented with today, um, it is selection and uh, service talent and technology as a subheadings um, in the CDMO space. Uh, the the first question I would ask or that I think you would need to answer in terms of making a selection is in CDMO, how much D is needed? In other words, development is one element of what you engage a CDMO for, and the M part is another, manufacturing. So do you have a development project? Do you have a project that's, that's mature um, and you're looking to tech transfer and continue uh, manufacturing the product at that point with development already completed, or do you really need to have a engage a uh, an operation that has a very strong and robust uh, development process? So, uh, because of, that would sort of narrow your selection in, into one group of companies, uh, providers, vendors versus another. So uh, that that's one thought. Um, in terms of uh, the service. So, uh, and, I, and I know some of my uh, co-panelists here have, have uh, some very good ideas about uh, the service and, as, and, and the talent part, as um, Lewis mentioned, a lot of, uh, there is a challenge in the CMO space for retention of uh, employees and, and training and et cetera, and providing that service. Um, but the one thing I would say is, in my experience, the, the importance of project management sort of percolates to the top for me, um, uh, because if you, if you, you couldn't have very good uh, people working there at the CDMO making good progress, but if you don't have timely communication of that progress that's being made, if you don't have a project manager who really has the ability to manage a product right herd on uh, getting things done, and, and keeping you in the loop on progress, uh, that, that's, that's a, a real disadvantage. So that too is something that I, I, I think is important to think about. Um, let's see, uh, let me jump ahead to the technology element here, just uh, wrapping up my initial comments. Um, I look for companies that, uh, CDMOs that um, are adopting new or next generation technology um, and versus proven historical practice. So uh, in a lot of my experience has been in the parenteral space. So uh, aseptic processing is, is uh, key, it's very important. And we know that regulators are uh, very, put a, a very rigorous uh, review of that in the audit process and have really been pushing the industry to move forward in the adoption of uh, say full isolator um, fill finish operations. And so uh, I think that's an important thing to think about. Maybe a company does have a very good historical record with regulators, but are they up to date? Um, and the, the, the phrase that I use, this is the C in CGMP. C of course means current. You can't stay current if you don't have the, if you're not staying up to date with advances in technology. So those are just some, again, some initial thoughts. I, th I think I'll leave it there for now and um, turn it back over to Lewis. Very good, Mark. That's that's uh, that's a fantastic opening. There's, there's a, a, a lot to uh, unpack there. Uh, I'm sure we'll get back to the idea of figuring out how much development you need and uh, uh, very intriguing, the, the idea of uh, looking for new versus historic technology at your CDMO. That's, that's very interesting stuff. I'm sure we'll get, we'll get back to some of that.